All right, y'all, I'm gonna talk really fast because I wanna make quicker videos. Quicker videos, shorter videos. I wanna make shorter videos, but it's kinda hard when you catch you know, more than a few fish. It kinda makes the videos longer. But I'm going off the shore. I'm going crazy sitting in the house and doing nothing and being miserable. So I'm going to go off the bank for a little while and see what I could do. I'm hoping to catch a flounder. I brought my cast net. I brought my poles. I brought my pistol. I'm gonna shoot at birds if I have to to bring something home. Something's coming with me. A seagull, I don't care. Something's coming with me. I'm joking, relax. Uh, yeah, but I'm gonna go do that and I will keep you guys posted on what's happening out there in this crazy looking day. Look, it's really overcast, it's been raining. It's like, what, 80 degrees? So it's basically 40 degrees to us in Louisiana or Mississippi, wherever we're at. I don't even know where I live anymore. Uh, yeah, so you guys enjoy this video and I'm putting some fish in this bucket back here. All right, bye-bye. Hi right, guys, I just caught a really nice croaker on a cracked crab. Actually, a pretty big piece of cracked crab. Look at that butterball. I am going to do a catch and cook croaker. I just took a crab, threw a jig head out. I'm out of crab now, but this seagull's really interested. It's bigger than him, so I don't know what he's thinking over there. Here, look, here. There you go. There's yeah, gonna friendly. be that one guy that's like, you're not supposed to feed the seagulls but okay you know. anyways yeah catching crook croaker coming at you y'all know i got big banana hands you know et looking fingers so that's a big croaker should i get a cool should i get a cool thumbnail and be like i'm catching cook croaker okay so there's about 40 billion gap top down there Look at that. I just put my gulp on. Well, I took I took my gulp and just put the tip of the tail on to see if I can get lucky and catch some more croaker on it. And there's a lot of gaff top down there. And these things will destroy you. Like, they will poke the crap out of you. I can't stand trying to unhook these things, man. All right, guys. I just poked my cat in the eye. Um, we're coming at you with a... Okay, my GoPro just took a bunch of pictures. I don't know what's going on. But we're coming at you with a catch, clean, and cook croaker. Um, I haven't been able to get in the boat lately because the weather's been terrible. So, you know, I got to do what I can. So I keep wanting to, I, I want to keep bringing you guys content. So this is what I'm doing, a catch and cook croaker. So for those of you who never had croaker, it's a very good fish. It's pretty mild. It's a very good fish to fry whole, which is what I plan to do today so I'm gonna pan fry them we'll go from from there I mean I haven't had croaker in quite a while I usually don't fish for them and if I catch an occasional one I'll let them go so we're using for bait they're great bait um but yeah so here it comes all right so what we have here is a croaker aka the scientific name I don't know it but it's a croaker I got them on a cereal box kind of rigged up but I'm gonna take this spoon right and I'm just gonna, just gonna scale him he's kind of got dry oh my god scale is going everywhere already it'd be smart to put him in the bag this is what a smart person would have done to start you put him in the bag and you just take some scales off they'll come off you'll still get scales everywhere but go ahead and scale them up and see what I'm doing I'll tell you right now this croaker probably has row or eggs in his stomach but I'm just gonna scale them up like as you can see I'm not gonna show this whole thing so I'll speed it up for you guys so you don't have to watch this misery this is kind of okay He's all scaled up, so I didn't even need that box. I'm just gonna keep him in the bag because he's so small. He's probably about what, 11 inches? He's pretty big for a croaker. He's not like huge, but pretty good size. The size you wanna keep. I'm cutting the head off, by the way. So the head's off. 
A lot of people probably cook them with the head on if you're from another country of some sort. We do it a little different around here. Some people probably still do it. Okay, air sac, guts, all that stuff. Come on out. Like I said, this fish has some eggs. So yeah, you can just tell how fat he was, you know. These fish are scavengers, they like you know, they'll hit live bait. They don't care. They're opportunistic. They will eat just about anything. I caught this one on crab, crack crab. So I'm trying not to make a mess, and I'm kind of like not showing you guys how I do it. So I'm sorry. So I just cut from the butthole. If I have a better knife, and just go down and open that up. And you want to get all that out. All the guts, all the blood. All that good stuff, yeah. And we're gonna rinse that out too in the sink. So we're gonna get in there and scratch it out and turn the water on, and it's gonna all get out of there. She's pretty much scaled. I can pull a couple off here and there, I feel them. But other than that, it's that easy. So this fish is scaled, he's gutted. I'm gonna clean him out, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna prepare him. So I'll be back. Okay guys. So I'm taking some self-rising cornmeal, mm, yeah, self I, I almost said mix, I thought it was the mix. So self-rising cornmeal, I'm going to pour it in a bowl over here, as you can see, All right? Oh, here's the fish, by the way. What I did was, I went over with my fingernail and got every little scale I could off to make sure, and uh, I cut his top fins off, well, most of it, I had a little crappy pair of scissors, but yeah, that's the fish, prepared and ready to go. So, so we're going to take this cornmeal mix, if I can get this camera right, okay. And we're going to, add, I, I'm kind of like a one trick pony with my seasonings on certain, when it comes to frying, you know, pan frying, got some garlic, powder, I got some Tony's, Tony Saturys. I love this stuff and you want to be generous with it because I promise you it's never as much as you think it is unless you're on a salt diet where you don't want a lot of salt. A uh, little onion powder because well maybe not. I have on, yeah I got some onion powder. It's got the seal on it I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to edit this out you see the little stupid factory seal or whatever it's called. The freshness seal. Okay, onion, boom. All right, and because I'm a spicy fella, I like me a little cayenne. Right, 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 right. And we're gonna take the fork, and we're gonna mix it around. Now, some people dredge their fish, so we dip them in eggs and flour and do all that. I don't have time. You could do that. I think it works out just fine like this, but. You know, I don't know a lot. Look at me. Do I look like I know anything about life? Okay, so there's all that mixed up. Shake it up. Get the rest of this out. There we go. I knew you were trying to hide. A little patch of Tony's was trying to hide from me. Yeah, I put Tony's in my coffee and my cereal. You know, I just... No, I don't. Okay, it's going to take the fish. We're going to uh, get this up in there. Keep one hand kind of dry, you know? We're just gonna get it everywhere. We gotta get it all over the dang place. On the tail. I wish I had a bigger bowl or plate or something, but that's okay, that's okay. All right, there's that. Gonna get this tail all nice and... I just flipped his tail and flung flour everywhere. Oh well. I need a bigger bowl, what can I say? I catch big croaker. Now some of you might think I sound cocky there. I'm joking. I have a weird sense of humor. I don't take anything I say serious, except for this is gonna be delicious. All right, so he's all battered, right? I'm gonna clean my counter, don't worry. He's all battered up. He is ready for the grease. The grease de la existence. I'm sorry if I offended eight countries just now, but yeah, there he is. Battered up, got him in the crevasses on the tail. Great value onion powder because I'm poor. Anyway, 
Y'all are going to be saying that when you see this fish cooked. I'll be back. <laughs> I got the cast iron heated up. Um, okay, I can't, I can't talk. I can't, it, this camera just turns on. It turns on when I'm talking to you guys. Shut the... Hold on. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. We're going to edit that out. It's okay. I mean, Cafu, dude, where are they? Cafe Bustello. Let me tell you. Never mind. I can't get started with another. That's some good coffee. But anyway, let's show you this fish. I don't know why I'm like this when I talk. It's like really weird. He is ready to go. His name is Joe. And he just don't know how good he's going to be. So the cast iron look, you just what you do is you take a little of this. It's not ready yet, but you just do that. And it's it's getting there. He'll start talking to you. So as you can see, my cat is crazy. But yeah, I'm getting this grease heated up and we're gonna get him going. Oh yeah. Okay, my cat's making a lot of noise, so I apologize. Yeah. Hey, freak. I'm trying to make a video. <sighs> anyway, look. That's sizzling. So we're going to drop this bad boy in right here. Shake off the little bit of da -da 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 excess. Drop it in. And she's a sizzling. We're going to give it, mm, I'd say, two and a half minutes. To crisp up we're not gonna touch it we're gonna give it two and a half we're gonna flip it we don't want to poke at it too much and knock all the breading off all the batter all the you know the flour so we'll let her go it's already I swear it's already smelling so good turn this fire down to about seven let it do its thing and I'll show you guys when I flip it Oh no, I started watching YouTube or a video on Facebook. All right, it's been two and a half minutes. Oh crap. I'm not sure what happened. I, I blacked out. Oh no, it's got a little dark. It's okay though. It's not that bad. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, yeah, I was on YouTube world or God, Facebook and I was watching a video and I don't know if it was two minutes or 10 minutes. I lost it. I completely forgot I was doing a video. But that ain't that ain't bad. That's okay. That's okay. We can live with that. That's that's gonna be delicious. Stupid Andy. <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see. Flash is gonna make it look a little worse. All right, guys. I'm gonna let the other side cook, and I will be back. Okay, so what we did here is we put the fish in the swimming position, so that way the, the middle part can get cooked as well. So this fish is about done. He's a crispy critter right now. The middle is cooking up, and we're just gonna leave him like that for another couple, another minute or so, and we'll break into this bad boy. Now, bear in mind, I'm a human being. <laughs> I was watching a video and this thing got crispy on me, so yeah, I don't know. It's not gonna be like gross or anything. Like, if you could see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. I gotta I gotta do something here. I gotta figure out an angle. Sorry, my camera's all kind of jacked up. This video is gonna be so jacked up. Let me go ahead and end it. But yeah. I don't know what's going on. The fish is great. I promise if you eat it on the bone. Mm-hmm. So you like you can kind of chew around it. And just pick the meat off with like your tongue. Does that make sense? But just get your hands dirty. Get in there and eat you some nice croaker because croaker it's considered bait only to some people, but the OGs, the, the real guys know this stuff is good eating.
Thank you all for watching this. I'm sorry about my camera problems. I'm talking my mouth full, but you know, it's, it, it's like that sometimes. But thank you guys for watching. This video is all over, and I'm, my apologies. So you guys take it easy and look forward for the next video, video to be me in my boat tearing some fish up. So. All right, y'all, I was having issues with my uh, camera. So I just wanted to say that fish was super firm, super mild, delicious, not even the slightest hint of a fishy flavor. Pretty much a great fish. I have nothing bad to say about it. Um, if you try that, I'm sure most of you have. It's the best way to do it. You just have to watch out for the bones, but I don't know. I just had to come out and get a better explanation out because my camera was giving me fits so um thank you guys for watching and uh let me know how you felt about that and i'll see you on the water in the next video peace